I'm going to do obviously the weekly walk around. Uh, but a bit of an update. We've had a delay because, um, basically because of building control. So the building team gave building control plenty of notice. They gave them notice ages ago and they need to give them 48 hours. Somewhere along the line, building control have got confused as to what's going on here. And they basically they sent a letter asking for works to stop because they thought that things had happened that, that hadn't actually happened. And therefore they were calling us to stop the works until they could come in here and assess it, which has only been till now. So that's frustrating that they put that stop on there, but you know, what can you do? These things happen and if an external body halts the works, then that's all you have to do. So now we've got building control in and they've seen that everything's absolutely fine. We can now get on with doing the conservatory, knocking that down and building a permanent structure for one of the bedrooms. That, although that has had a knock on effect, so because the soil stack is being moved to outside to create a bit more room in one of these bathrooms, until the conservatory is done, that couldn't happen. So the, the work in the bathrooms have not um, gone any further, but all the first fix of plumbing has been done. And um, so I'll give you a look here. So you can see the base for the shower trays are in, all of the pipe work you can see here is all ready for second fixing when that happens. Um, Again, I think we've said before, but obviously that will be a tiled shelf area and the same with this window. So that window at the moment can't be blocked up because of the building control issues, um, but now that can go ahead. Um, but up here, all the um, electrics have been done now, so uh, they're ready for, you know, when the faceplates all go on and things. There was a slight issue that we were hoping to use some of the um, plug points that were already in here, but actually when the electricians took everything off, they found that not only were they single plug points with a double face on top, they actually had plastic backing, which is not safe at all. So they've had to redo it and put all metal backing on, on the backs of them so that they're now safe, basically. Uh, so, yeah, another minor issue, but, you know, it's all been resolved. Um, Same with skirting. Oh yeah, the skirting. So the skirting, we thought perhaps we could use some of that, but actually the builders have found that when they tapped it, it's all fallen off. When they took up some of the carpet, some of the um, skirting's fallen off the wall because it was actually just glued on with a few dabs of glue as opposed to actually being properly done. Um, so that's always what happens. When you, when you uncover a house, you find, well, hopefully not many horrors, but you always find some horrors um, and this project's no different. So, boarded up. oh yeah, this is all boarded up. This, I don't know if you remember, but this was the airing cupboard with a water tank in before, uh, which we took away to give this bedroom, which I, before didn't meet uh, the natural room size, um, but it now does because we've been at this cupboard and this cupboard here. And this is still to come out. This chimney stack, it's an old chimney stack, and that's to come out um, soon. So, if we go downstairs, what well, after you? small problem down here is that this is the um, consumer unit and everything um, which needs, we need to get rid of this out of this room because this is going to have a shower in it and it's unsafe to keep this unit, this head unit in here. So this requires, this can't be touched by a normal electrician, it needs the UK power networks to come out and move it um, outside which should have been a small, well a simple job because they would have just turned it. What they actually found when they came here to assess it is that the cables are lead and if they turn them then they risk snapping them so they're going to have to replace them um, which they can't come until the 9th of September to do that which apparently is quite early uh, so I'm thankful for that but 9th of, September, 9th of September still feels quite a long way away so until all that's happened we can't actually move this unit um, which is going to end up on the top there outside of this room which then means that this can be a wet room um, with a shower in it, but that can't happen until UK Power Networks come and do their bit. So, again, a bit frustrating, but there's not an awful lot we can do about that. Um, nothing's happening there, that's just being used as a storage room uh, to house all the, the sanitary wear and stuff. So, now we've got the go ahead and building control, so the conservatory can now come down. So, they've boarded it all up, they've built the wall that blocks off part of the what was the walkway. 
and they brought down this wall. So uh, now we've had the go ahead with the conservatory, we could bring this down because if we didn't know the conservatory was or was not going ahead, there's no point bringing this down because it would just be a, an extension of the communal area. But now we know it could be a bedroom, this wall can come down and create this um, as one bedroom, uh, sorry, as one room um, for the communal space. So uh, they've started this, they started today taking off the guttering because I think they were doing other bits um, here, but just not much else has happened to the conservatory. But that is the the main plan for this week is to to sort that out. So uh, yeah, it's it's been a a frustrating week because you know not an awful lot's happened because we we're waiting for people. But now hopefully all the external people that had any influence over this have been dealt with, and uh, we can now sort of you know progress quite quickly because everything's now in place to, to move the project along quite quickly. So yeah, I hope that's a, a useful update for you all and see you next week.